I was never always this happy. I've been pretty depressed lately. It's been a struggle just to get up. My days feel long. It just doesn't feel like there's a purpose to my life. I wake up every day, but I don't know why. A lot of times I just sit there and just wonder what I'm actually doing here. What purpose am I serving? Who am I helping? It just doesn't feel like I'm useful. It just doesn't feel like I have a reason. I'm just not happy. It seems like every day is just getting rougher and rougher. I can't sleep anymore. It's getting harder to think. I am the most suicidal I've ever been in my life, and I hope to make it to the end of this year. Youth is happy because it has the capacity to see beauty. Anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. I grew up just as any other kid. Accepting stupid dares and being really bad at dancing, like, really bad, yet I didn't care because everything just seemed to be happier when you're young, free of any true responsibilities, oblivious to the reality of taxes and even scarier, your purpose. I had a lot of interests, but none of them really seemed to stick, I felt like I could just never find the one. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, where I wanted to go, who I wanted to be. I told myself I'd be a doctor, but that dream was very short-lived. As I grew older, my days of childish politics and seemingly limitless freedom began to dissipate. I became worrisome, 
fixated on figuring out every single detail to the rest of my life, something that a 16 year old should not be thinking about. But here I was, constantly considering the life altering decisions that I would inevitably be confronted with. What choices will I have to make? Will I make the right choices? Is there even a right choice? I think this is where everything started to go wrong for me, where the world goes bleak. Hey, Kwa. Um, it's Nick. I've been trying to reach out to you the past couple of days to make sure everything's okay. Um, it's also been like a month since we last talked to each other, and I was just wondering if everything between us was okay, or if you were going through anything on your own that you wanted to talk about. I've talked to Chris and Sam, and they mentioned something about you going through something, and I also noticed it the last time we talked, but I kind of didn't bring up bring it up because I was waiting for you to. Just know that I'm always available to talk to you if you need it, because our, our friendship means a lot to me, and you matter a lot in my life, and Chris and Sam have also clearly expressed that you matter in their lives, so... We need you, um, so please, please call us if you're okay. Yes, ma'am. scared to open up. Manipulated by some, I've called my friends and abandoned by those I trusted most. I didn't know what to believe nor who I even was anymore. They say you're a mosaic of everyone you meet, but it always felt like people were pushing their pieces into spaces that were supposed to belong to me. I became a stranger living in my own body. So I pushed everyone away attempt to reclaim a part of myself I'm not even sure exists, grappling aimlessly in the unknown in hopes of finding something that I can wrap my arms around. And when all that hope feels lost, I found people that care. People that don't ask you to change, people that support your dreams even before you know what they are. In my pursuit of self, I found people that understood who I wasn't. I was reminded of the people I've yet to meet, the experiences I've yet to have, the good in the world that I've yet to discover. I was finally beginning to see how beautiful the world really was again. I can't really say I ever had a real reason, but there was a part of me that really wanted to see what else was out there. Maybe this was the universe's way of telling me that this was something that I needed to do, so acting on pure instinct. I'd be boarding a plane to the Pacific Northwest in about two weeks with nothing really planned. But before that happens, I first need to say goodbye to the people that have showed me what real human connection was. You don't- Oh, he's stuttering! <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't- You don't- Hey, point the camera at him. You don't get it. Oh, he's stuttering! Oh, he's stuttering! What were you saying cool. about? <laughs> bro, 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 you got me right. Help my brother out. No, we're like we're like homies. Right? It was nice to catch up to someone that was a good part of it. <laughs> Any final thoughts? Um, have fun traveling alone. Don't get. Yo, what's up? Hey, bye. Is it recording? Wait, wait, now you gotta be on the side. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then we switch it again. Can I stop right there?
Oh shit, wait, wait no, you're this side. <laughs> I don't think I was ever really sure of this decision. What if something went wrong? Was I even ready for something like this? I didn't have any immediate answers to these questions at the time, but I was sure of one thing. I've been through a lot these past few years, and I was optimistic that things could only get better from here. Whatever happens these next two weeks, I know I'm going to come out a different person. A person closer to who I want to be. This journey would begin in Seattle, Washington, where I'd meet a girl named Alyssa. Okay, well, we actually met on Hinge a couple months back. But that's aside the point. Oh my god, is that hurt? Oh my god. I was oh gonna god. bring my camera and I left it on the motorcycle. What? Buy free, get one free. That's a steal. That really is. Get, like, we only had about a day together before I had to meet someone else, but in the limited time that we've been together, I was already getting to know a lot about her. For one, where her paycheck goes. This is still gonna be cheaper than the Starbucks one. We're drinking Starbucks is like nine bucks. Nine dollars? Yeah, plus a tip. This. What'd you say? I don't wanna say it now. Yeah, Bon Iver? Is it Ivar? There's no fucking way. <laughs> say it one more time. Bon Iver? Is it Bon Ivar? Holy fuck, That's it's what over. my sister said. It's over. It's and fun. also this. Do I stab it? <laughs> I can do it. You can. I might do it. I'm talented, you know. This was a person that I've only known for maybe two months by this point, and even though this was the first time we've truly ever met, it felt like we really bonded in the eight hours that we had. That one? Maybe? Oh, it's backwards. A <laughs> twenty-four. Yeah, A twenty-four. Pacific time. Um, he should be here in like ten minutes or something. Um. Yeah, you guys will get to see him. Should be a fun trip. No way! Oh my god, my guy. Got you, bro. Oh my god! Oh shit, bro. <laughs> oh my god, here he is. Good. Oh my god. What's good, What's my good, guy? Bro? How are you? How are you? Yeah. We're good. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Oh, we fucking made it. Okay, now I need to fucking get out. I'm not sure I fully realized it in this moment, but. This felt like the beginning of a new life for me. Hey, sweet dreams, bro. Bro's all cozy and shit. This guy lifts. This guy's strong. Bro, do some bicep curls. Bicep curls. Oh my god. Look at the look at the veins. Look at the veins. It drives you crazy. For once in my life, I wasn't so caught up with trying to figure out my purpose or the big decisions that I would eventually have to make. I was just happy to be here. To be present. 
wanting to experience as much as I could with someone that saw life the same way. Take a picture. You're taking a video. Yeah. Bro, what? What the heck? Look at him. What is cold? Bro? Yeah, what are we gonna do? Have towels. It's okay. It's okay. It's for the experience. That guy's flexing. Yeah, what are we gonna do, Prithi? Nah, bro, we're full sending this. Nah, bro, we're going, we're going. I've always gone in way too early. Dip my toes in the frozen overlay. I'm known for jumping in too quick. <laughs> bro, this whole view is majestic. Bro, this, yeah, this view is so cool. Bro, it's actually really funny because I remember like when we were when we were starting this, our trip. It, it was like I literally just saw you at the gym like on a random day, and we literally planned it like within a matter of hours. Yeah, you were doing the incline bench. Oh yeah, then we worked in and with each I, other. And I, I asked to work in with you, and then you gave me the headphones. And I started listening to Superhero. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> villain version or something? Oh yeah, the villain's version. The villain's version. Oh, yeah. yeah. But no, that's crazy how I just met you that time. And I didn't even get your socials, I believe. No, just we just like yeah. I was like, I was like the third time I met you or something. I don't even know. And also, like even the day we we planned this trip, it was like we didn't, I met you at our pack, and like you were like doing uh, like bicep curls or something. Something. You're you're doing something. It was, a, it was uh, yeah. It was, month after that, after some school ended and summer started and everything. I didn't even, I met you once in like GSL or some shit, like yeah, yeah, yeah. NRC or some shit, and then I met you the second time in our pack, and then you mentioned that you're going to Washington, I'm like, I'll be going to Australia, <laughs> I'm flying in from Seattle, I'm flying from Seattle, so I'm actually staying there. For yeah, just come for an extra couple. You, you came up, and then you're like, oh shit, why not? And then the same night we planned, like, started talking, we started planning things for the next week. You already booked your flight that same day. Oh yeah, I did. I, I did book the flight. The same day. Oh my god, that was crazy. Oh, it was, it was a spirit. It's a traveler spirit. That's what I'm saying, man. Adventure. Wait, I do have to ask. You're not a serial killer, right? I'm perhaps, but I'm not really sure. But <laughs> make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell me your name? Uh, my name's Luke. Luke. What's one piece of advice you would tell your younger self? Be happy, you'll figure it out the rest of the way. That's some good advice. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, there's a John Lennon quote, you know, it's like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Happy? The teacher said, I don't think you understand the question. He says, I don't think she understood the, <laughs> the answer. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Figure out a way to be happy. Yeah, and then everything else kind of doesn't matter. As long as you're not, you know, the world works for anyone else. What's this guy doing? What's this fucking guy? Oh my god. I think I'm a hop in. Yeah, you're hopping. Yeah, get in, get in. Yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking hey. god. <laughs> I'm checking one for little fish. Yeah. Anything else? That's gonna be 668. He's kind of used to it. Yeah. 
my ticket but like I had no plan so like I had to like be here like I just be in position it's like it's pretty cool yeah. this whole trip was spontaneous yeah everything it was, was very, like, it was a very uh the schematic was very you know rudimentary <laughs> you fucking came here you figured everything out yeah bro we came here we didn't have a plan or nothing bro I've got close to you man I okay, know you're brother here sir sir you're recording right you're recording that part right yeah i'm recording everything bro yeah i got snot running down my face right now yeah bro i was gonna tell him that he's got fucking snot running down his face he's got boogers or something <laughs> well, i've always got that he's a dirty ass dude bro it's not like that just like that, it was finally time to part ways. Ruthie would be on his way to Australia and I'd be continuing my solo travels to Oregon. Hi, my guy. Good trip. Hi, right, bro. I got close to you this trip. It's been real. Yeah, let's hang out when school starts back up. That's facts, bro. Yeah, or in August when I'm back. Or yeah, whenever in school starts again. Yeah, it's gonna be. At this point, I only had about a week left before my flight home, so I really wanted to make the most of my time in Oregon. But this was my first time traveling alone, so to be hundreds of miles away from your hometown is definitely a scary feeling. Constant thoughts of self-doubt and fears of something going wrong were always present, and honestly sometimes pretty overwhelming. It's easy to jump to the worst case scenario whenever you feel anxious and the start of this trip wasn't very reassuring at first. I'm actually at the wrong location and the place I'm actually supposed to go to is still another 11 minutes away. So I have to get another Uber for another like $12. It's like this whole ordeal. I'm laughing because I'm like low-key kind of stressed. But I'll probably be fine. It's an Uber's on the way but this is, this is so, this is, oh my god. Just got to my hostel. You can't hear anything. I have my retainer in. I just got to my hostel in downtown Portland. I'm on the rooftop of my hostel right now, which is actually kind of sick. I think it's day two traveling alone. It's Sunday today. It's been a really weird experience traveling alone. I've never really done anything like this before. So this is really new to me. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow yet. So I'm about to figure that out right now. I need a book of where I'm gonna stay. Hopefully somewhere just to school like this. But I don't know. No, I don't know if I'll get as lucky. Only a couple more days here. About six more days before I head back to Columbus. So a lot more to explore and yeah. It was scary at first, but traveling alone has given me a lot of time to reflect. You know, I used to wonder how people always seem to have everything figured out, whether it's a job lined up after school or even knowing what food you want to order. I just started my 20s, but it felt like everyone was at least two steps ahead of me at all times. Was I really that behind? Would I be a failure if I didn't figure everything out too? These questions have permeated my consciousness for a while now. I was always in this constant struggle between wanting to keep up with others and taking a step back to focus on myself. But I began to realize though is that I've always been focused on the wrong things, failing to acknowledge what really mattered, but it wasn't only until recently and a two night hostel stay in Bend, Oregon that I found the answers to all my problems. I'm from like an island within Rhode Island, which uh -huh. was the initial Rhode Island. Um, but uh, yeah, much. it's a beautiful place for about six, seven months of the year. Yeah. And winters are rough, ugly, hard. But uh, you know, I love it. It's roots, baby. It's home. You know? Hey, it's Joe. My advice: never stop learning. We are all works in progress. Never stop learning. 
<laughs> awesome. I appreciate it. To everyone I have asked these past two weeks what makes a meaningful life, you understand that there's never just one answer. We tend to get caught up with this idea of longevity, wanting to extend our lives through stable means, but what's the point of all this time if we're always thinking to the future, never even able to use what we so desired? As individuals, I like to believe that we're born without any inherent purpose, so why tie ourselves down to a future we don't even know will make us happy when we don't have to? Rather, it's only through experiencing what it is life has to offer can we figure out what's even worth holding on to in the first place. You know, sometimes it's okay to go into the future blind. We don't need to know everything just yet. There will be a time when things start to make more sense and our purpose becomes more defined, but until we find our reason to live, all we can really do is to follow what makes us happy. Maybe some lemon lime. Maybe try some lemon lime and coffee. You never know, man. You're talking about salad being cereal, bro. I don't know. Which was more reasonable than uh, a lime Celsius and coffee. You're drinking marshmallow, whatever, dream, and coffee, man. And I said it's vile, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's a dog doing? Yeah, it's Goose. That's Goose. That's Goose. That's Goose. I told you about him. He's great. 401, baby. Hey, yo, you all know our motto is Ho, baby. We got one more motto, four letter word. Four letter word, usually a dirty word, but we got Ho, baby. 401, baby. <laughs> Treat them man as well, okay? All right. Treat them well, don't, don't lose your pieces. Appreciate it, Kobe. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Still. I can't really say that my travels have given me some greater purpose or even taught me some hidden meaning to life that I just haven't experienced, but I don't think it really matters. They say you're a mosaic of everyone you meet and that's true. It's just a matter of finding the right people, people that help open your eyes to a more beautiful world that it's okay to live life day by day, figuring it out as we go. After all, we still have the rest of our lives to live, and I think it'd be a shame if we weren't there for you.